Aloha, I'm Dr. Daniel Vickers, president of Discovered Chiropractic Hawaii. And I'd like to thank you for taking the time today to watch this presentation and find out more about your thyroid condition and how we can help you without resorting to drugs or surgery. Some 20 million Americans are affected by thyroid disorders. That's one in 13 people. And more than half of those people are often unaware that they have a thyroid problem because it frequently goes undiagnosed until it becomes severe. According to the National Women's Health Information Center, one in eight women will suffer from a thyroid problem during her lifetime. The reason why may surprise you, because I'm sure you've never heard it explained to you. That's because most doctors are only vaguely familiar with thyroid disorders. After studying more about the thyroid and thyroid disorders, I realized how poorly diagnosed and poorly managed most thyroid conditions are. I've also noticed a very disturbing trend in the current treatment model to thyroid, which I'll talk about in a minute. First, let's learn more about how the thyroid works. In healthy people, the thyroid makes just the right amount of two different hormones, T4 and T3. These hormones have important actions throughout the body. Most importantly, they regulate many aspects of our metabolism, affecting how many calories we burn, how warm we feel, how much we weigh, and our general sense of well-being. In short, the thyroid runs our metab metabolism. It's literally the gas pedal of the body. Thyroid hormones also have direct effects on most organs, including the heart, which beats faster and harder under the influence of increased thyroid hormones. This is why heart problems can often accompany chronic thyroid problems, especially in women. And it perhaps may be why heart problems are more common in women under the age of 50. T3 is the more bio biologically active of the two thyroid hormones. It's more important for cellular function. And in fact, most of T4, about 80%, is converted to T3 in the body's peripheral tissues. So T4 is just a precursor for the more active form T3. One of the problems in some thyroid disorders is that you may have trouble converting T4 to T3 in your tissues. Is this something you've been checked for? This can create a deficiency of T3, disrupting the body's ability to properly regulate your metabolism. One of the controversial aspects of the most common thyroid medication, which is Synthroid, is that it is only T4. If you have a problem converting T4 to T3, and Synthroid is a synthetic form of T4, mind you, then this medication is not going to be as effective as it could be. Iodine is the primary element in T3 and T4. T3 contains three iodine molecules, T4 has four. This makes iodine essential to the production of these two hormones. And many studies have indicated that we do not get enough adequate iodine in our diet. However, that does not mean that you should supplement with iodine without getting your levels checked, because this can lead to more thyroid problems. Before we go any further, let's cover the three primary types of thyroid conditions. Number one is hypothyroidism, or slow thyroid. Number two is hyperthyroidism, or Graves' disease. And number three is Hashimoto's thyroiditis, or sometimes Hashimoto's disease. The symptoms of hypothyroidism, or slow thyroid, are feeling fatigued, tired, or sluggish, having cold feet or hands, requiring excessive amounts of sleep in order to function, gaining weight easily or having difficulty losing weight, and difficult or infrequent bowel movements, constipation, as well as depression, lack of motivation, morning headaches that wear off as the day goes on, thinning of the hair, dryness of the skin or scalp, and mental sluggishness. Hypothyroidism is a condition in which the body lacks sufficient thyroid hormones. Since the main purpose of thyroid hormones is to run your metabolism, it is logical that people with this condition will have symptoms associated with a slow metabolism. Millions of Americans have this common medical condition, and yet it often goes undetected in the early stages. Have you been told that your thyroid test results are normal, yet you still have symptoms of low thyroid? Now, the symptoms of hyperthyroidism, or Graves' disease, that's an overactive thyroid, are heart palpitations, inward trembling, increased pulse rate even while resting, nervous or emotional to an excessive degree, insomnia, night sweats, and difficulty gaining weight. Hyperthyroidism is overproduction of your thyroid hormones. It's less common 
but can precede a slowing down of the thyroid. However, it's usually easier to treat. Number three is Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's is when your immune system is attacking your own thyroid gland. This is an autoimmune disorder. It's diagnosed by checking for antibodies to the thyroid hormones TPO and TBG, and for antibodies to gluten, which is a protein found in many grains. Hashimoto's patients will experience symptoms of hypo and hyperthyroidism, meaning that they will experience some or all of the symptoms that I mentioned earlier. Since the thyroid contributes to our metabolism, it affects all systems in the body. Gut, liver, gallbladder, hormones, cholesterol, brain, adrenals, breasts, ovaries, heart, everything. This is exactly why your thyroid needs to function at its optimal level. Now, back to that disturbing trend I observed concerning the treatment of thyroid conditions. That trend is most thyroid patients are treated exactly the same. This really bothers me because I understand from my knowledge of neurology that no two patients are going to react the same, especially with an endocrine dysfunction. So then why are all thyroid patients treated the same? Did you know that there are at least 10 different blood tests that must be analyzed in order to determine the exact cause of your thyroid condition and what's causing it? Most doctors use the same old one or two blood tests and never bother checking beyond those. You can help your thyroid condition naturally, and you may not need to take any medications at all. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not here to tell you to stop taking your current medications. I would never do that. That's called practicing medicine without a license, and it's a felony. No thank you. We actually work with your MD to get you feeling better as quickly as possible. How do we do this? Well, we're going to start with very specific blood tests, which may include any or all of the following. We'll check thyroid simulating hormone, or TSH. This is the message sent from the pituitary gland to the thyroid. We'll check free T3 and T4. These are the hormones I talked about earlier. We'll test for thyroid antibodies to thyroglobulin and thyroid peroxidase. This is, again, to rule out an autoimmune thyroid disorder. We'll check reverse T3. This is a reversed form of T3 it can cause problems. We'll check total T4. This is how much total T4 hormone there is in the blood. We'll check free thyroxine index, or FTI. This is another measurement of how much thyroxine, or T4, there is in your bloodstream. We'll do a resin T3 uptake. This measures the unsaturated binding sites on thyroid proteins. We'll do a complete metabolic profile, or CMP. This checks electrolytes, blood sugar, many other markers, it will highlight many metabolic problems. We'll do a lipid panel. This is cholesterol, LDL, HDL, etc., because these can be related to an endocrine system dysfunction. We'll do a complete blood count, or CBC, with differential. This checks your cell counts, white blood cells, red blood cells, and so on, as well as a specific breakdown of certain white cells that can indicate an overlooked pattern of endocrine change. We may also do a urinalysis, because sometimes we discover stuff in the urine that your body is eliminating, stuff that maybe shouldn't be there. We also test to see if you have an autoimmune disease. This is when your own immune system is attacking a particular area of your body, for instance, the thyroid. So we test for specific thyroid antibodies to determine if you suffer from an autoimmune thyroid disease. We can also check your antibodies to gluten. This is a protein found in wheat, barley, rye, etc. We'll also check for antibodies to myelin. This is the fatty sheath around your nerves. Additionally, we'll test your adrenal glands with an adrenal stress index, or ASI, as many thyroid patients also suffer from adrenal problems. Have you ever been checked for any of the above antibodies or had an ASI? These tests will allow us to create a custom protocol for you based on your specific lab tests. Remember, no two thyroid patients are alike so not all thyroid patients should be treated alike. Doesn't that just make sense? Now, based on your personal blood chemistry, we can quickly determine what nutritional and treatment protocols will benefit you the most and get you on the road to recovery. Nutritional supplementation recommendations, which are based on current blood work, are the most accurate. And your specific condition must be analyzed using your blood chemistry results in order to make effective nutritional and treatment recommendations. So. Let's start with what makes my office completely different from any doctor that you've seen up till now. What makes us unique? Number one, 
we're going to do thorough neurological testing. Your brain and your nervous system control everything in your body. So in order to effectively assist your body to heal itself so that it can control your thyroid, we must thoroughly test and treat you neurologically. Number two, exercise with oxygen therapy. Your body needs two things in order to survive, fuel and activation. Fuel comes from glucose, that's in our food, and the other is oxygen. Oxygen obviously comes from the air that we breathe. When you exercise with oxygen, you can help your body heal many problems naturally. And number three, complete and thorough metabolic testing, which I've described. Has your MD specifically checked for autoimmune disorder, such as Hashimoto's disease? You see, there are two parts to your immune system, Th1 and Th2. If one of these parts is dominant, you could be suffering from an autoimmune disorder. An autoimmune disorder is, again, when your own immune system attacks your body, causing, for example, your thyroid condition. Now, please note, an autoimmune condition trumps everything else. It must be handled first or you will, you'll never get better. Not completely. Have you been specifically checked for any food sensitivities that could be contributing to your thyroid condition or even causing it to become worse? Each time that you eat a food that you're sensitive to, such as gluten, again, it's found in grains, or dairy or egg or soy or yeast, it can cause your thyroid condition to become worse. Has your MD run a complete thyroid panel, as I described? Your thyroid controls your metabolism. So if you suffer from thyroid issues, your thyroid must be thoroughly checked. And I'm not talking about just the simple test of TSH or maybe even T4. I'm talking about the complete battery of thyroid tests. Just about every thyroid patient who's walked into my office has never had the full battery of these 10 thyroid tests. Has your MD checked your adrenal glands? Your adrenals are your stress glands and they're just as important in successfully treating your thyroid. An ASI needs to be run, which checks your cortisol levels at 8 a.m., noon, 4 p.m., and 10 p.m. Have you been checked for blood disorders such as anemias? You need these blood levels checked if you're suffering from a thyroid condition. If you're male, have you been evaluated for andropods? If you're a female, has your doctor ever ordered an expanded female hormone profile? If you're female and postmenopausal, has your doctor ever assessed your risk factors for developing uterine or breast cancer? Hormone levels are very important in controlling thyroid conditions. If you answered no to any or all of these questions, and there's a good chance that your thyroid condition has not been properly managed, we need to run these tests on you to get to the bottom of your thyroid condition. Can you see now that by testing you both neurologically and metabolically, we can help your body heal your thyroid naturally without resorting to drugs or surgery? Uh, that's a lot of info. Take a deep breath, ask yourself the following conditions. How have your thyroid symptoms affected your job, your relationships, your family, your friends, other activities? What has it cost you in terms of time, money, happiness, and sleep? Where do you picture yourself in the next one to three years if your thyroid condition is not taken care of? And finally, what is it worth to you if we can improve your condition? Now, imagine your life without thyroid symptoms. Think of feeling like yourself again and doing all the things that you used to do, all the activities that you used to do, going places and seeing things, having energy. If you'd like to be evaluated and find out whether or not we can help your thyroid condition naturally without resorting to drugs or surgery, please give my office a call. It's 808-873-9221. Leave your name, address, phone number, and email, and we will contact you and schedule you with a free consultation. There's no charge for this consultation. Again, my phone number is 873-9221. Please call and allow us to begin helping you. I'm Dr. Daniel Vickers. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I look forward to helping you. Aloha.